For the first time, an all-private crewed mission to the International Space Station will lift off next week. This will happen Wednesday at the Kennedy Space Center, where our Scott Heidler reports on the crew and the mission. At just after noon on April 6th, an Axiom space mission called AX-1 will bring four private crew members to the International Space Station. Representing the U.S., Canada and Israel, the astronauts will conduct 25 different experiments. AX-1 mission pilot drawing the distinction between their private astronaut mission and space tourism. Space tours. They'll spend 10 or 15 hours training, 5 to 10 minutes in space. And by the way, that's fine. In our case, depending upon our role, we've spent anywhere from 750 to over 1,000 hours training. The commander is a retired NASA astronaut. The space company has tapped SpaceX to get them there, using a Falcon 9 rocket and Dragon capsule to get the job done. Axiom is also using the mission to lay the groundwork for its private space station. This is the first of a series of precursor missions before uh, our space station is launched and assembled on orbit, ultimately uh, replacing the International Space Station when it is, uh, when it is retired. While AX-1 will be making history, it's keeping good company at the Kennedy Space Center, near NASA's SLS Artemis lunar rocket. As Axiom and SpaceX ready launch pad 39A for their mission AX-1 on Wednesday, just next door, launch pad 39B, Artemis 1 stands ready for a weekend of testing that begins on Friday night. In fact, the testing schedule pushed AX-1 launch back a few days. Personnel for both missions keeping a close eye in the wet dress rehearsal, hoping it all goes smoothly so there are no more launch delays. At the Kennedy Space Center, Scott Heidler, West 2 News.